Okay, here we have uh, two little um, water battery cells. We're not actually using water, but um, anyway, that's what they are normally. Just a galvanic cell. Uh, this one is a new one I've just made. As you can see, hasn't been used. And this one here is one I've been using and conditioning all day. Well, last three hours anyway. As you can see, well beat up. So what we're going to do is first we're going to place the new one in our liquid and here we're going to place the cell across a 100 ohm load. This one here will show us our voltage, this one here will show us our current available from this cell. Um, and what we can do while we're actually doing that is we can time each run phone ready there and we'll see how long they take to drop down to say 930, uh, yeah, 930 millivolts um, across that uh, 100 ohms so we'll time it uh, from the word get go as soon as I hook up the uh, meter which is going to be a little delay because I have to plug the wire on then hit the uh, start button okay so we're basically ready to go that's going to be awfully difficult to get that um, clip lead on what I might do is put him in our little vice here so I can get that clip lead on it I'll just put the camera down for a minute So if I actually grab the wire in that alligator clip, we should be able to just clip this one onto the alligator clip and we'll be right to go. Alright, so uh, once again, current, milliamps and bolts DC across the 100, 100 ohm resistor. We'll get our uh, stopwatch here ready to go. Reset. Okay, so we're going to uh, plug it on and hit the stopwatch we're away so as you can see we're not off to a good start because it's already down to uh, 620, 619 millivolts so we've missed it all together we'll go to, uh, let's go to 500 so we've got uh, 5.9 milliamps at 580 millivolts And this, that's just a uh, brand new cell, exactly the same size as this one, 2 inch by 2 inch. And um, we only started off with uh, X amount of volts. We should have probably checked the voltage across it before we put a load on it, but this is only a 100 ohm load. So um, from those two readings there, you can work out how many milliwatts we got being dissipated across that uh, 100 ohm load starting to slow up a, now, a bit oh. and the other one's bound to go any minute now every time I turn them on I forget to turn the uh, timers off the auto shut off timer but anyway it's just a matter of pushing the button and back on again handy because I often walk away come back the next day the batteries are flat if I uh, switch the auto shut offs off so I just leave them on two one stop okay so we got a minute 38 out of that to bring it down to 500 millivolts across that uh, one ohm resistor so what we're going to do now is try this other cell that I've been using all day now actually before we go any further I'll just let it rest a bit and we'll hook it back up see what happens oh. and as you can see once these cells start to die they start to die 
So um, we'll go ahead, rip that one out. Of course, they will drop down, and I might keep pumping out 200 millivolts for quite some time across that uh, 100 ohm resistor. But we're just doing a comparison um, with that cell there and this one here. So um, we're going to plonk this in the old liquid and see how we go with this one. Like yay. Okay, so our blue is our once again our negative. Come here. And our green this time is our positive. Except it's the newest bit of wire I could grab. Alright, so um, we'll get our stopwatch going again. What did we go down to? 500. 500 millivolts. Alright, same load of course. We'll plug it straight on, hit the timer, and away we go. So I hope you've got about uh, half an hour to sit here and watch this. It's going to take a while to go down to 500 millivolts, isn't it? 9.24 milliamps at 914, 13, 900 odd millivolts at the moment. So that is just a um, zinc plate, it's an identical cell to this one that I've actually been using and returning um, the inductive kickback current to the cell. Now that we're not returning it of course it's going to uh, drain down, you see it just jump back up again. That was down to um, 800 millivolts here for a minute and it jumped back up to 9. There you go. It's doing all weird and wonderful things, that. Um, now, like I was saying, yeah, it's just one of these cells. Started off life exactly like that one and uh, put into a uh, pulsed circuit with the inductive kickback getting sent back the positive back to this side of course so all we're actually doing is reversing the current flow in the cell and not only does that um, stop the gelf disappearing it also gives it a nice little coating of something special with this liquid that it's running in as you can see Is that a cell or is that a cell? Just when you think it's all going downhill, back up it goes. <coughs> so slider, what do you think about that mate? So a test I've done previously on it discharged this 25 farad cap 2.7 volts completely flat clip lead across it for five minutes took it off it recovered at about uh, 0.04 volts and put the clip lead back on it and I got it down to about 0.01 it came back up to and um, all I did was uh, put the output of our cell there into this cap got it up to 0 0.67 um, volts on a 25 farad cap which is um, probably a bit over three and a half joules of energy mm. So um, we're going to be here for quite some time 
to watch that drop down to 500 millivolts because when it seems like it starts to go down it goes back up again now I'll give you a little hint this mixture here has got something to do with Centroflow's um, experiments and that's about all we're going to tell you at the moment So um, we're at 4.33 and we're nowhere near 500 millivolts yet so um, it does get to a stage where it'll just settle and slowly drop down like it has now I believe but that there simple little cell as you can see, we started off life like that, is now a supercapacitor. Still being dissipated across that 100 ohm load. So we've just hit 900 millivolts, so we've only got 400 millivolts to go and we're laughing. But we're not going to bother because you've got the uh, general idea. So, so far we're having great success with this uh, here brew and um, sending the inductive kickback spikes back through the cell. Um, that is working very well. Just when you thought it was going down, there it goes again, back up again. So, um, I reckon Centroflow, Mike, you need a uh, big thank you at the moment because um, I am starting to see exactly what you are talking about. And now everyone else can. Well, we're going because that's going to take um, hours to drop down to um, 500 millivolts. We've already done six and a half minutes. We've absolutely thrashed the standard cell. So there you go, slider. The challenge is on, mate. Can you make a cell like that? Cheers, guys.